everybody, it's Tim from Chasing the Joneses and I am glad that you guys are watching this video. On this episode, we are going to be talking about how we got rid of our microwave and put in an Instapot. And we installed it into a place exactly where the microwave went. So, if you will, a quick video. Stay tuned, because here we go. Hey folks, before we kick off on this video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you have not already subscribed to our channel. So we, here we are in our kitchen area and in our Class A motor home, it is not very big. I mean, it is a pretty small spot and we have done some things in order to be able to, to you know, make it usable, to make it a little bit bigger storage wise and things like that. And we're going to share those things with you on our one of these videos that we got coming up about um, about all the upgrades we did. But I wanted to share this upgrade with you because what we did was we took out that, that old rickety microwave that we never really used and uh, we installed something that is, um, that is something that's great. And I want you to see that right now. So in this short video, I'm gonna tell you all the things that we did to do this. All right, so this is where our microwave used to be. And so we took that out and it was a bracketed in there. And it was very simple to take out. It's just plugged in right there. So let me show you what we have done. Inside this cabinet, you're gonna find that we have our Ninja. Um, and we didn't have a place to store it. So we, when we took out that microwave, uh, we began to install it. And let me show you how this works. This comes completely out on a roller, just like that. Look at that. And so it sets there as it cooks. So whoever's cooking can get right in there, can manage whatever is happening in there. And then once it's done cooking and cleaned up, it just gets pushed right on back inside, inside there. And so, wow, that is something exciting. Now, I did a couple things in order for us to be able to have this. And I wanna share with you here. Okay, as you'll see in there, it's pretty finished off everywhere it looks. And so when the microwave was in here, uh, these panels were not in here. And so it was just kind of a, a fit that unfinished. And so when I took the microwave out, um, we had to finish everything and refit everything. So the plug that you see right here was actually on the inside of this other cabinet. And there was a hole that you stuck the cord through and plugged it in on the other side. Why they didn't put it on this side, I have no idea. So I had to rearrange that, which was very simple. I added these two panels right here and I uh, just bought them at the local um, local hardware store and I uh, cut them to size and they fit in there just perfectly just exactly how it needed to be so I knew that I knew that the bottom and this is where the bottom where the where the microwave actually sat and I wanted to make sure that this whole system was able to pull in and pull out what I did was I got these drawer these are for drawers and uh, what I did was I installed them and then if you look on the side here with me you'll see that I just screwed them to I cut this board down the width and screwed them right here onto this and and then installed it and it slides in and out perfectly and it's just the exact fit that we need now, I just want to tell you this, is that you can do something like this. It's very simple, very easy. I took this 
I took this door from, an, from the bedroom area where we're putting our TV at and I'm mounting the TV in that area. So I took that door from that position, from that place, and it was the perfect fit to go along here now. So the simple things that I did was I just took and I put this little border right here in order for the catch to be there. So when the door closes, it is hatched and it's not and it's, and it's secure. The other thing I did was I installed another handle down here in case uh, she can put a towel or a rag right there, whatever she needs to be. But this is this came out so well. Look at that. This came out so well. All right, so a step-by-step -step process. First, you have to remove your microwave. Uh, second, once you remove the microwave, of course, you have to measure everything and then get cut your wood for the two sides, place those in there, and then cut your wood for your base, what is going the slide is going to be on. And then you're going to purchase your drawer slides, and so you can attach the drawer slides on there. And it's a very, like I said, it's a very simple, easy to do project that is just, for us, it just takes care of everything. So we can close that up and no one even will know that that is in there. All right, well, that is the quick, short video of what we did with this area that had the microwave in it. And remember, you too can do these easy, simple tasks all you need is a few tools and a little bit of ingenuity, and you can do these things as well. And that's why we put all these videos on here, so that you too can have the, be encouraged to be able to work on your mortar home. Well, that's it for us. I'm glad that you guys were watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'm Tim, and we'll see you down the road.